Well, a historic day today as Donald Trump joins a very short list of U.S. presidents to be impeached. The vote happening tonight after a full day of debate by members of the House of Representatives. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall joins us in studio with what happened today. Austin. President Donald Trump became the third president to be impeached by the House as Democrats approved two articles of impeachment against Trump just moments ago. A final vote tally is still being tabulated, but it appears this was approved without any GOP support. This is where Trump was while the vote was taking place. He's at a rally in Michigan as we speak. Now, we want to make it clear that impeachment does not mean that Trump is booted from office. What impeachment means is that the House of Representatives just brought charges against the president, the charges being abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. It is now the Senate's job to hold a trial and decide whether they will remove the president. The likelihood that enough Congress members in the Republican-held Senate will remove Trump from the White House is highly unlikely. The House spent all day in a debate, representatives from both sides of the aisle exchanging heated words. The last one to speak, our local representative, Kevin McCarthy, who took time to take aim at Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Impeachment is the most consequential decision Congress can make other than sending our men and women into war. Yet 85 days ago, Speaker Pelosi chose to impeach the President of the United States. She wrote the script and created an artificial timeline to make the details fit. Why else are we doing this just hours before Christmas? If that's all it was, a rush to judgment, she could be forgiven. But before the speaker saw one word or one shred of evidence, she moved to impeach. Trump joins Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton as the only presidents to be impeached by the House. Both presidents survived their respective trials in the Senate. We don't know how long the Senate trial could last. Bill Clinton's lasted five weeks, while Andrew Johnson's was two months. It's a historic day in our country for sure, Jessica.